storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. And Jamie Spears, all right? Britney Spears, as you guys know, has gotten her freedom. She's been going through a lot. And Jamie has felt the need to speak out on her. Because Jamie ain't nothing without Britney. And that whole Spears family ain't nothing but Britney. At the end of the day, Britney was the Britney Jean Spears from Mississippi was the best nut that our daddy ever busted in her mammy. Point blank in a period. Every father has that one child where he is like, I am so glad that I did not put him or her in a tissue. And some that he wish he would have put it in her butt. Now, Jamie ain't had our sister back before. But Jamie's out here doing interviews. Now, Brittany, the only reason why she has not been doing any interviews since she has gotten her freedom. Because she got her emancipation proclamation. And if you don't care your behind off Instagram, putting uh, the, taking off your clothes. I know you've basically been in prison for the last 15 years. And you might think you were still, you know, young. And you might think that it is still the early 2000s, but it is not. You put your clothes on, Brittany. We not fit to do that. Because you're finna get locked back up. I feel like you playing on this Mason Dixon line doing the hopscotch with your nine dancing ass. And, you, and these slave catchers finna come back and get you. And I'm gonna have to get Harriet Tubman to come and put a shotgun in your back. Because y'all know uh, Harriet Tubman used to do that. If you if you went with her, you was down. If you tried to go back and run, you got scurred. You got shot in your stomach. That was just what it was. Please don't make us have to go get Harriet Tubman on your ass. Now sit down, ho. Sit down. But Britney Spears had to call Jamie out because Jamie's out here doing interviews, like I said. She's also writing a book, and she has not been talking favorably about Britney. But most important, Jamie is now trying to act like Britney wasn't no damn slave this whole time and like she didn't know. So we are going to go through the open letter from Britney to Jamie and how Britney got her sister together. Britney ain't that damn crazy. I don't care what y'all say. Oh, the Wonder Bread news. Oh, 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 God. We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, that Wonder Bread news. We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, that Wonder Bread news. We got that Wonder Bread. Well, I want to sing to him. I want to sing to him. Here we go. Here we go. I want to make sure I sing to him. We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, that Wonder Bread news. We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread. We got that I'm a for you <laughs> we got that wonder bread wonder bread wonder bread wonder bread wonder bread huh we got that mississippi news that racist news that white trash news white slave ass news Abusive daddy ass news. Wanna screw his daughter ass news. And we all know the news. We got that dreamy ass news. Teenage pregnancy news. By a producer ass news. At a church ass news. We got that wonder bread, wonder bread. That wonder bread news. Y'all like that wonder bread song? Y'all like that Wonder Bread song? Because I like that Wonder Bread song. Y'all like that? <laughs> Y'all like that Wonder Bread song? <laughs> Y'all like that Wonder Bread song? Anyway, anyway. So now we're going to get to it. So let's get to the open letter. Y'all always remind me about that Wonder Bread song, boy. She said, Jamie Lynn, I don't think your book is about me at all. I said some harsh things because you obviously hurt me by the things you were making up about me. When I said only a scum person would make up things like that, I could have sworn I said, but you're not. But it doesn't make sense at all to me what you were saying. I know you worked hard for the life you have. No, she ain't Britney. She ain't worked hard for nothing. She rolled your coattails and her parents took your money that you was making while you was out here slaving for the Jakumatati in the Mickey Mouse Club with the black and white checkered flows at a young age. You, Ryan Gosling, Justin Timberlake, and Christina. What, what in the hell happened to Christina Aguilera's body and face? She ain't never had them kind of curves and her face wasn't that damn stiff but i think we would both have to agree that the family has never been remotely as hard on you as they have been on me yes yes we all know that britney was the like the i'm like the michael of the family the tony braxton of the family the beyonce of the family i told y'all that is the best nut that our daddy busted 
what, what dad did to me, they don't even do to criminals. So for you to sit back and act completely aloof. Oh, not aloof. Uh-oh, look at us using white people words. During those 13 years, only to be sent away for four months for no reason at all. And I won't even mention what was done to me in that place. No, Brittany mentioned it. That's the problem. We need to know what happened in the facilities. We know it was MK Ultra training. You need to put it on blast. It took them years to give me a cup of coffee. People who have killed people and are in jail or on death row can have as much coffee as they want. Yep, as much coffee, as much booty. And, and for their last meal, you get whatever you want to eat. So why the hell was my own family hiding coffee from me? You guys treated me like nothing, and that's not even half of it. Give us the other half, Brittany. Come on the show and give it to us. I'm honestly shocked Dad isn't in jail. Come on. We are supposed to have each other's back. But what you're saying just truly confuses me. All I know is I love you unconditionally, so go ahead and say whatever you want. It's so tacky. Um, ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait a minute, did I get this out of order? Okay, well, we're going to... Oh, I guess I didn't read the rest of that, but oh well. Yet your loyalty is... You say you love me, yet your loyalty is with the people that hurt me the most. I think the thing that saddens me the most is that when all this happened to me and when I called you from that place, you would take days to respond. Days to respond, Jamie. When your sister called you, you wouldn't call her back. Ain't no telling what they was doing. We know what they was doing until they was put in the MK Ultra chip. We know that, allegedly. But my whole point is, if I call you and it take you days to respond, I must not be that damn important to you. How, how many people y'all got in y'all like that gas like you like that? You hit them up. Hey, girl. I, hey, girl. Call me. They call you two months later. Well, bitch, the, the problem's taken care of, but I guess I wasn't that damn important to you. But when they need something, you always pick up for them. Stop picking up the damn phone for folks that don't pick up for you. Stop doing stuff for people that won't do it for you. Stop doing it. <coughs> now, <clears throat> you would just text me days later, and I was so scared. I needed you, my family, my blood. And your support more than anything. You guys did absolutely nothing until a year ago. Said something on Instagram and you and Brian showed up at my house because of an Instagram post? That makes me the saddest. Why? Four question marks. Because I needed you way before that. And before that and the fact that you and Brian showed up laughing at my gate instead of knowing? You should have been there way before. That makes me very sad. I don't care anymore. Say whatever you want to say. Just know I do know your real heart more than anyone. It's your life. And you deserve a beautiful life. I wish I would be able to do what you're doing and do interviews. I'm scared of it all. You ain't got to be scared, Brittany. Just come on the Storm My Rose Show. I admire you for being strong. Just know I love you. And I think you know that already more than anything. So what y'all think about the letter? What y'all think about the letter? What y'all think about the letter? She gathered her. And sometimes people deserve to be gathered. Sometimes you have to remind people and remind them publicly that the victim mentality is not going to work. It's not going to work. So let me tell you what it is. This whole entire family has been using Brittany and sucking on her like a leech from the very beginning. Brittany and Jamie did have a close relationship as, a, uh, as J uh, Jamie was a kid, Brittany was that big sister to her. But as time went on and Brittany started to live her life and go through controversy, their parents kept them somewhat separate. Bad mouth Brittany to Jamie that she got in her head. And as Brittany started to lose her mind, Jamie, of course, took her parents' side. Now, once Jamie became a grown woman, and I ain't talking about being a grown woman when you was busting your coochie in that alleged church party for Disney. Or, or, yeah, 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 for Disney, whatever, for that producer, allegedly. They know they didn't get. When you was popping, pop that pop. When you was doing that allegedly, I'm talking about when she was 18. I'm talking about when she realized what they was doing to your sister. I'm talking about when your sister was reaching out for help. You supposed to have your sister back no matter what, Jamie. But ain't nobody ever taught you about loyalty, Jamie, because you all you know was a dollar that you ain't never worked for. I know damn well you ain't survived off of Zoe 101 all these damn years. Who been paying your bills? Who been buying you them cars? Who been affording you all them vacations and them houses? Who been affording all them damn horrible ass blonde highlights that you put in your head and those cheap extensions that are always frizzy? It's Britney's 
money. Y'all kept Britney a prisoner while y'all lived lavish lifestyles, including the wigger that got her pregnant twice. That wasn't nothing. She, hell, she wasn't nothing but a lick for him because he, he his ass don't want to work. He lazy as shit. Just keep it real, Kevin Federline. You left that sister because a sister going to make your ass go to work. You got with Britney and y'all smoke cigarettes. Y'all lived a white trash life. You got her money, her soul, and her sanity. Went back to Wonder Bread, had some more kids that Britney damn paying for. I mean, pimping ain't easy. I bet I guess somebody got to do it. But to keep it real, y'all have all pimped Britney. You done pimped her, the mama done pimped her, the pappy done pimped her. The baby daddy didn't pimp her. Everybody didn't pimp her. Everybody that saw what was going on and did nothing pimped her. Now you want some sympathy. Now you want to be close because she's out. Now you need some more money. You need some more opportunities. Because you suck. And nobody cared for you. It was always about Britney. I'm sorry. We didn't like you like that. We still barely L for Ray J. But he's a good businessman and a good marketer. We only talk about Solange when she beating somebody up. And I don't want to smoke Solange because your hands move pretty fast. And <laughs> I don't have security. Janet rolls up. Not bigger than Michael, but a whispering ass is right under him. But the rest of them Jacksons, we don't care about. You either, Jermaine. Jermaine! That damn tar across your forehead. It's old. It's tied. It, it's... <sighs> Let it go. I need y'all all to let it go with the horrible nose jobs too. But it, it's too late to get your features back. Anyway, I say all that to say, Jamie, you're absolutely, you're absolute garbage. See, what you need to be writing in your book is why you were too scared and cowardly to come to your sister's defense. If siblings ain't got they ch each other's back, I don't see the point in having you. They can say whatever they want to say about me about being the only child. But damn, it seems like y'all be having siblings and still be getting stabbed in your back and still be on your own. Oh, I forgot. Because you came out the cooch one at a time. I don't give a damn if you twins like Tia Tamara. Like Tia Tamara. They pulled them hoes one at a time. And I ain't tell not one damn lie and I ain't taking it back. I said what I said. Now, with that being said, Brittany, this is my message to you. You in danger. You in danger. I'm going to just keep it real. You are the cash cow and people lose it when they lose their cash cow. You had them boys taken from you. And honestly, you didn't miss so many years for, with them due to you being enslaved. It ain't your fault, but you're going to have to let them suckers go too. Because un unless they really can see what's going on, they're going to have a lack of respect for you too. I'm just telling you, Brittany, they ever get out of line, slap them upside their head. I'm just saying, you've been through too much. You've been through too much. Don't take no shit. No shit, no questioning. Do what the hell I told you to do. Now, now, Brittany, you do what the hell I told you to do. Now, you want to have some more babies? That's fine. Do what you do. But you need to get out of California. You and your boyfriend, and I still don't trust him, but I have to trust somebody to be around you. You need to move out of California. You need to fire everybody. You need to clean house. Cleaning house and purging is a beautiful thing. No explanation. You're going to get rid of some good employees. You're going to get rid of some that got some contempt towards you because when people work for you, they end up getting jealous of you anyway, and they hold some contempt because you're doing what they can't do and what they wish they could. Clean house. Move out of California with your man. Do not marry him. Have your babies. Stop dancing and twerking on Instagram. You ain't had sleep in 15 years and you look like it. So we're not going to do that. You're going to relax. You're going to meditate. You're going to get deep, intensive therapy. And we're going to live our lives. Let Jamie go to hell. Let your pappy and your mammy go to hell. And you move on with your life. You can't trust nobody that sat there while you was being enslaved. They don't care that damn much about you. You out now. You got control of your money again. Jamie ain't got nothing else going on. And Hollywood don't give a damn about her. And now she wants some of that paper too. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, it's a storm show. Uh, it's a storm show.